Matthew, thanks for joining us on FA TV. Um, Fabio Capello has obviously revealed that you'll play against Slovenia on Wednesday night. Just your reaction, basically, to that news. I'm obviously very pleased. Um, it's why I've come out here. It's why we've been together for the last five weeks or so. So, yeah, I'm delighted to be able to put a shirt on and, and, uh, and, and go, go and play. Just um, having been involved so much kind of in the, in the qualification campaign, playing so many, so many of those games and the friendlies over the last two years under Fabio Capello, did you maybe anticipate being involved earlier in this tournament? I think I've obviously wanted to be involved earlier, but you know, that's, that's football, things change and the squad was announced and then the manager selects his team. So, you know, it's been a real uh, job of just being patient and being focused, really even though I haven't played yet. Um, so uh, I suppose I've been a little bit kind of disappointed, but that's what it's about. I've now got an opportunity and I want to take it. You've, you've played many times with John Terry in qualification. Some, some of the highlights, I suppose, Germany, when you both scored, you got your first goal for England, England won in Berlin. How comfortable is that partnership um, from, from the experience you both experienced players? Yeah, I, f I feel very comfortable playing with John. Um, as with most of the lads here, really, but you know, like, like you said, I've I've probably teamed up with him the most out of all, all of my England caps. So, um, you know, I, I enjoy playing with him. I know what he's about, and and the decisions that he makes, you kind of get to know a player. Um, so, you know, I, I try and uh, compliment that really. You also played with him from the start against Slovenia in September in a friendly. Mm -hmm. What do you remember of that game and, and Slovenia as a, an opponent? I remember them being very good on the counter attack, and you know when we when we went forwards and, and had a lot of pressure, they then braked really well. Um, I, I believe we won the game two one. I yeah. think it was yeah. So um, they're a, they're a decent side, and they've shown in the tournament that, that they're capable of. of of causing some damage, so we're going to have to be on our game. But I'm just looking forward to the whole occasion and I, j I just want to get out on the pitch and play. And I suppose for everyone concerned, it, it, it's kind of win or bust for England. Is that, is that a better situation to be in as a player, knowing there's no draws or relying on other people? You, you just go out and win and, and we'll be through. Yeah, you know, I think to think about, focus on the result, I, I don't know at the moment for us, I don't think that's the answer. I just think we need to focus on what we do and relaxing and playing football, playing like it's a, it's a Saturday afternoon in the Premier League and adopting the same kind of body language and temperament. I think if we can do that, we're, we're more than capable of, of getting a great result and the result will come if we do that. So, you know, I think we need to focus on just relaxing and, and, and playing, playing some good football. I suppose in a strange way, would, you, would people have taken this scenario, knowing going into the third game, if, if we play well and win, then with, into the last 16? Um, I, uh, I don't think so. I think you'd probably think people would want us to have got off to a better start and, and have more points on the board uh, by now. Um, but as the situation has it, we haven't. And we have an opportunity to win a match and go through, which is what tournament and knockout football is all about. So... Um, you know, it's a test for us, but every game after this, if we go through, will be an even bigger test. So, you know, it's a case of if we're ready for it and, and how we approach it. In 1990, England drew their first two group games and went on to the semi-finals. What do you remember of that tournament and, and mm. could this be a similar kind of scenario for us? Yeah, I remember the tournament really well. It was a, a kind of an age where, I think I was 11 or so, where I just watched football and played football non-stop. So, you know, the World Cup was a really big, big event for me at that age and, and, I, and I watched every game. So I remember the tournament really well and I remember it being a real success and, and everybody complimenting the team and, and how well they did. So, you know, I'd love to be in that position where we, we, could, we could get those kind of words and that kind of success. Do you talk to Stuart Pearce because obviously he was involved in that tournament? Yeah. Do you talk to him now about the experiences he had in that competition? Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't say I talk to him about it. You know, he might want to drop it in every now and then. <laughs> but no, we, we don't talk too much about that. We mainly focus when we talk about football on, on what's happening out there on the yeah. training pitch and, and what, what we're doing right now. And, and just finally for me, the Wednesday night, could it be the making of this England team, this tournament, to, to reach a moment of coming through adversity, yeah. proving yourselves on Wednesday night? Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think every, every time you hit a moment of adversity, it's a time to shine and, and it's an opportunity for, for you as a group to, to get together and, and get stronger. You know, and that's why I said the, the way we approach it and you know, I hope we can relax and play and, and be our usual selves. And if we do... You know, I think we'll come through that and, and hopefully move on to, to more stages and, and some success in the tournament.